Um, if I may ask a, a non-tremor question, uh, were there any surprises during the mission? It all looked so smooth from the launch to the landing, you know, to us watching on the ground. And it, was it really that perfect? Like, did the vehicle perform that well, or was there anything that happened? Like, maybe you went in a capsule on orbit and there was a funny odor or you know, something that alarmed you during the two months you were up there, or, or, or was it all just that smooth? Thank you. Yeah, frankly, the, the DM2 mission part of it, uh, as well as the uh, docked ISS mission that we participated in, Expedition 63, but certainly the DM2 mission, um, I personally expected there to be more, you know, certainly not issues with the vehicle, but some challenges or some things that were maybe not quite what we expected. I mean, even on our shuttle flights, we had things that happened on both of mine. And I know, you know, Bob and I have talked a lot about his missions as well. There were things that happened that that were right out of a simulator uh, uh, event and and something that you certainly wouldn't have expected in a real flight. But but I, my credit, once again, is to the, the folks at SpaceX, uh, the production folks, the people that put Endeavor together, and then uh, certainly our training folks. The mission went just like the simulators. And and I, I'm honestly, from start to finish, all the way, it, there was really no surprises. And I think for me personally, I expected the entry to diverge somewhat by what we saw in the simulator. And what I mean by that is, as, as a capsule gets in the thicker air of the atmosphere, so somewhere around 20K down to maybe 10K, just prior to the drogues with, the, with Dragon, I expected there to be some divergence in attitude control, because it's, it's a real tough problem for uh, the ship as it gets into the thicker air to maintain perfect attitude and control. And at some point, and, and then the design of this vehicle is for the drogues to come out potentially a little bit earlier than they normally would come out uh, to kind of right the vehicle. I, I fully expected that to happen, and it did not. The vehicle was rock solid right up until the nominal drogue deploy uh, altitude. And, and as Bob described, you could feel it. You knew exactly. You felt the decel. You knew the drogues both worked. And then it was the same with the mains. We felt the different stages of this reef and uh, right to the impact in the water. It was, you know, we kind of had a feeling it would be not as much as a Soyuz landing as it was described to us, but uh, it was going to be a pretty firm splashdown. And then, you know, how we bobbed, even how we bobbed in the water and how the vehicle uh, sat in the water. Uh, so. My compliments to SpaceX and the commercial crew program. Uh, the vehicle performed exactly how it was supposed to, and uh, you feel really good about uh, Crew One and 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 what they should expect and what they should see when they fly their mission.